this is the desk for 13 and welcome to an episode of War Thunder. Now there are a few things I need to talk about and get right out of the way. One, because Shortcut does not have a voice recording ability as far as I can tell. I've downloaded Audacity so if it sounds a bit off, that's probably why. If it's desynced, that's probably why. So right now, I am making a right turn. I will try and line it up with that the best I can. Or, I'll try and line it up with this, which is going off the cliff now. So, hopefully I've lined it up with that. If not, I'm I'm not used to doing um, Audacity separate voice and then trying to sync it right back up. But, second thing, yes, this is War Thunder, yes, I am playing tanks because, well, it's mindless. Everything's pretty darn broken. I mean, one-shots, and you can shoot each other from across the map. You can spawn camp and spawn kill, and but both teams could do it, theoretically. It's just right at the beginning of the game is probably the most important because, well, if you lose most of your tanks right off the bat, people tend to not have a well-balanced loadout for tanks and of course this is a replay so you'll see a look here stupid here's a tank like that the big red thing there which at the time I didn't see I just saw the tank and you'll notice it more and more often where I'll look around and just look straight past enemy tanks and be like well there's nothing there and move on um what else um Yes, yeah, so while I'm playing War Thunder, well, have been playing War Thunder, again, it's mindless. Yes, it can be frustrating where I can't see a tank, I'm just going my own, I'm doing my own little thing, and all of a sudden, BAM! My tank blows up, and I'm sitting there like, huh? What? I don't understand what what's going on. And, so like, you know, like T-34, no clue he's there, I saw the Cromwell! And now I see the T-34. That, that's the kind of level of awareness that I have. But anyway... The reason why it's mindless, to me at least, is... it's You're not having to worry about angling armor, because armor doesn't matter. You just press a key, and unlike in World of Tanks, where the difference between standard ammunition and quote quote premium ammunition is 3,000, well I guess what 2,000 credits or something like that at some at some points in time I, I you know it changes from tank to tank and caliber to caliber but here it's 20 30 credits difference per shell yes but when you only carry, when you could, well, so like right here, yes, the game is going, look here, stupid, I can't see that, I'm, I, I physically could not see that, therefore I did not see it, it's, it's a weird concept, but, you just don't fire as quickly, the tank isn't, quote, quote, flying around across the ground, it's not, Taking corners at breakneck speeds. I mean, there is no drift key. You go too fast and take a sharp corner, your tank's gonna spiral. It's going to spin. The turret isn't, doesn't just snap around. You don't have to wait for an aiming circle. Crosshairs over the tank that you're trying to shoot at, fire. That's all you really need to do. It's not too, too difficult for me. But in a game like World of Tanks, it really is more about strategy. It's not just about situational awareness. It's, okay, once this tank gets spotted, this is what I'm going to do. Instead of, once this tank gets spotted, fire! <laughs> but, you know, the challenge in World Thunder is actually finding the tanks first. Because, you know, things like that could happen, what I just did to the Sherman. You probably saw that show up a couple of times. Because War Thunder doesn't work off of a module, or doesn't work off of a hit point system like World of Tanks does, 
it works off of modules. So what I'm doing is I'm killing their gunner. I'm making it so they can't fire their gun back at me. But there's four of them there. Two, Sher two or three Shermans and a Cromwell. So I'm not in a good position because as you'll see in a little bit. And this right here is me calling in artillery on them. I know it's not it's a completely different thing. It's like the clan war version of artillery. You select an area and it just dumps itself in, sometimes killing, sometimes doing damage. But more or less to try and get them to move out of where they are. And what you'll see in a couple of seconds here is there is a tank coming at me from my left. And he can see me. He is going to be shooting at me. But I've got nowhere to go. I've got nowhere to go. I've got nowhere to run. I am surrounded and I am losing allies left, right, and center. So I, I, I mean, I'm not just going to keel over. I'm going to be trying to do my best. My hope is that Cromwell Driver does not have a fire extinguisher. There you go. There's a shot that just went right over my head. So now what I'm going to try and do is get a shot at the Cromwell and, well, a Sherman takes me out. Nothing I could do about that. I was surrounded. And in this game, a well-aimed shot, well, a shot at the tank in general, unless it's at a ridiculous angle, is most likely going to one shot. Or at the very least, Cripple the, enemy, cripple the tank that just got shot to the point to where then you can reload and shoot again. We, we play glitch here. Do apologize for it. I couldn't figure out why I kept doing this. I did it a few times. I don't know what was going on. But War Thunder just seems to kind of click with me as of right now. Of course, I will phase in and out between all the tanks and War Thunder and what not, but I feel like as I've played World of Tanks more and more, the habits from World of Tanks that I've taken over into War Thunder work a lot better. Yes, it's a lot it's pretty difficult to angle your armor in a tiger. Not gonna even argue that. However, not a lot of people angle their armor in this game. Whether that's because they're so used to, you know, bam, I get hit, well, there goes half my tank, I might as well quit out of this tank and try and get into another one. Or, either, front armor's so good, ha ha ha, you can't get through me. It's really, really hard to find a tank that does that in War Thunder. But, I, I, I just found that you angle your armor and you side scrape back and forth behind a building. I mean, of course, not showing the front of my tank in the Tiger when I decide to do this, but just like showing my side and just people just shooting at the side of my tank, bouncing off. There's a replay, I want to say a year or two ago, where I'm sitting in this open field and this guy's tracked me from halfway across the map and I'm sitting there like, well, I'm gonna die. And then he just keeps tracking me and tracking me and tracking me. Nothing else, no, not penetrating my tank or anything, just he just keeps tracking me. So eventually I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna shoot back. So I, binocular view, you'll see me do it from time to time. It looks like, you know, you cup your... You took two cups to your eyes, and just... Oh, yeah, if your tank was in such and such closer or whatever. Like that, right there. That's binocular view. And I'm trying to pinpoint, okay, this is where he's at, this is where he's at. And I keep firing and firing, and I'm getting closer and closer and closer. Until I finally hit the dude's turret, and I kill him. And he's been firing at me for the past what, 10 minutes or so? I spent most of the game trapped in that open field while this guy just continued to shoot at me and shoot at me and shoot at me from that long distance and 
public chat. He's like, you cheater, you hacker. No, I just had my... I turned my tank 45 degrees, and at that distance, it just... He couldn't get through to me. And it seems like that's a pretty valid thing to do here. I mean, once you get to tanks like, you know, the well, the mouse and high high ranking here it's ranking about high tier world of tanks. Tanks where if you side if you don't side scrape just right, you get penned and by the time you get to that point you've got tanks that fire heat shells and fin stabilized high penetration and just look at looks at you the wrong way and you burst into flames type tanks and ammunition. Which is a bit unfortunate, but not much I could do. I mean just just look at this K V one. Yes, it's a heavy tank. Well the Germans only get mediums and lights. How is this fair? Well, that's supposedly a lightly armored heavy tank. It's just a Russian heavy tank, that's the only thing. And you can see here, I've just taken out his um, uh, gun breach. He can't fire his gun. He can't. And just like that, I've taken him out. Why? Well, gun ports. Why is this guy about to die? shoot center mass. <laughs> you, you know, shell shrapnels and kills everything inside, apparently. And while you can do all this mean and nasty stuff, you know, com repeatedly setting someone on fire, making them pay for multiple fire extinguishers to maximum, and then just letting them burn, it can become difficult. I mean, right now I'm using a machine gun to take out a uh, anti-aircraft vehicle. Why? Because I'm not. I don't need a 75 millimeter gun to get through sheet metal and a car door. And what you'll see me do right here is, well, angle the armor. Yes, that's a anti-aircraft gun, but if he had, if I had turned my turret flat onto him, he probably would have shredded my tank. Why do I fire at him? Because, well, his arm is actually thick enough that I can't just machine gun through him. And this kind of stuff seems to make sense to me. Yes, at times it's completely ridiculous. Where you'll you'll see it in a little bit, but. Everyone plays by those same unfair rules, and it's a lot like life in that aspect. Yes, life's unfair, but it's unfair to everyone. Everyone will have their own problems. Everyone will have hiccups and bumps in the road and, you know, have things that they just can't seem to do. But because everyone has their own individual problem that affects them, to a certain degree, sometimes more, sometimes less, it's really up to that individual, it's fair. Which is weird to say, because when you think War Thunder, you, or, you know, any Russian tank game, you think Russian bias. And to a degree, that is quite true. But, at the same time, he didn't see me here, so I killed him. Well, I just got bombed, so I use a fire extinguisher, I'm repairing the tank, and oh look, would you look at that? There's an anti-aircraft gun, straight into the side of my turret, and he shreds me. And from here, the game is lost, and I do top on XP, credits, and whatnot, which is a bit unfortunate and quite sad if you ask me, but... Anyway, this has been the Desphere 13. If you enjoyed the video, please get a like and share. It really does help out the channel. If you want to show up to any of my live streams, down in the description. Mine's Facebook and Twitter, all down in the description, as my Twitch as well. Um, what else is there? I think that's everything. So yeah, I'll just leave it here. This has been the Desphere 13. Uh, this has been the Desphere 13. Signing off. Bye.